Hi, Ross Quintana with socialmagnets.net. Uh, just uh, coming back for video number six in our series on how to use Twitter. And if you've been following along, our first video was how to, we took you all the way from signing up and filling out your bio. Video two was how to follow somebody and your first tweet and your first retweet. Video number um, Three was how to connect and use your activity feed. Uh, and number four was how to discover more people to um, follow and build your um, followers. And number five was how to share stuff from around the web and also from your computer. Now in video six, what we're going to cover is how to change your background on your Twitter page. So we'll show you how to do a custom background and give you some resources for that and also how to just change them um, if you want to just change out the ones uh, to kind of some primary ones and, and mess around with it. There's everything from super easy and free all the way up to paid. So we'll show you a little bit of each of those. Uh, let's start off with our Twitter account that we created when we started this new user hopefully you've been following along and you started up your own uh, Twitter account so you can kinda follow along now what we're gonna do is we're gonna come over here to the profile uh, drop down menu and we're gonna click that and we're gonna go right down here to settings and we'll click that and this brings us to our uh, account settings page we're gonna select design and what we're going to see is we have some pre-made themes right here. And Twitter really did a good job on this. Uh, there's nothing really to upload and download and all that as far as their pre-made themes. And they're very easy on the eyes. So you can just start clicking through some and you can instantly see the changes on your screen. So you can get an idea uh, for feel. Do you want a dark one? Do you want something dramatic? You know, what color scheme do you want? Hopefully not that one. Um, anyway, the nice thing about this is uh, you can have a new theme in, a, in just an instant. And where most of the themes start off with the clouds, you can instantly kind of set yourself apart by just changing your theme to one of these other ones. Now, for some people, that's they're going to love the fact that they can click once and be done um, and not have the standard theme. Um, for some people though, they're going to want to go a little bit further. And there's the ability to do that. I would say uh, you can upload your own image if you know how and if you have a good image. Uh, a couple of things on the image size. You, you are regulated here up to 800k for the image size. So you want to make sure that it's not uh, greater than that. It won't let you upload it. And you can do both tiled and I'll show you what that means and uh, regular. Now a lot of people will ask what size should my image file be and really there's varying uh, degrees. It depends on the size of monitors. You know the monitors keep getting bigger and bigger so um, you, you know it's not going to really stretch out your image so you know it depends. You know at a minimum if you want to you know have big enough for uh, a lot of monitors 1600 by 1200 is a good size but you can go up to 2560 by 1600 is probably the premium um, for right now. So if you're going to design your own or if you're going to pick an image uh, and either resize it or get an image made, then those are some of the dimensions. And those will be included in the notes at the bottom of the video as a reference. Also, uh, what you want to do, you know, before you start changing, you can also do some colors down here. So you can change the uh, your background colors and your link colors. Uh, so there's a little more customization, and these use um, these use these um, these codes for the colors. And I'll leave a link there so that you can find uh, a link to a diagram that shows you all the different colors if you want to match up your color, especially if you're if you have a certain color you want or if you have a brand that you're trying to promote and you want to match up your colors of your brand, then I'll give you a resource there, a link in the bottom, that you can go look at the color charts and find out what the code you need is. And then you can change the uh, link uh, uh, code here too. So, um, so let's just take a look here. Let's choose a file just to show you what you can do. You can grab an image like this and save changes and that's loading over here you'll see and then in a moment that's going to go ahead and hopefully load up
Uh, it says my profile. Okay, let's try this again. Sometimes it took me a couple times before. Let's see, changes. Let's try it again. Sometimes it took me a couple times when I was loading up. You can load up your image. There it goes. So now you can see I posted this image in the background. Now some of them you want to play around because some of them are going to look good and some of them aren't. Remember that most of what people see is only in this section here and this over here. And some of it does filter through here. But if it's too busy, sometimes it makes it hard. Like, like a nice uh, design like theirs, usually this area is blank. So if you click on one of theirs, you see how this is nice and blank. So even though you see the little design over here, it doesn't get too busy here. This still feels like this whole block is nice and user-friendly and easy on the eyes. Uh, you can do other things. Uh, an example, I'll just take the our profile image here, which is probably a very small image. And uh, let's save the changes and see what it does. Okay, so it shows this is the size of the image. Now if I click Tile, you see what it does? Is it just repeats that image all over. Now again, with the Tile images, sometimes they get a little busy and you see how it's hard to, it's no longer defined here. Um, so this would be a type of a, kind of I would find an annoying background if this was the case. So experiment around a little bit. Um, you can you can try some different colors uh, even if you're gonna do your own image uh, a lot of times you can get a nice you can use the pre-made images to try colors and just see how it feels like what color scheme you know works good with what you're trying to do and with your brand so that's how you do that there now if you want to get into some more custom images like you've probably seen some on uh, looking around you'll see some people have their their picture and and logos and different information all over here um, you can either work you can either try and make one of those if you're familiar with uh, graphic design another great resource is this website it's called twitterbackgrounds.com and it's spelled t-w-i-t-r so it's not i-t-t-e-r uh, it's t-w-i-t-r and I'll leave a link down there and what you can do is, this is an example of some of their custom designs. See, when I roll over, here's one about cars. Here's one uh, with fish. Here's an NBA design where you can put your own custom um, photos there. And they'll custom make this. A lot of professionals uh, use custom professional designs because if you do the color, see how they're doing the color bar and the scheme, like on this one, looks really nice where they've integrated the green there with the photos and it really creates a nice unique user experience so they have ones that you can buy there I believe they're like eighty nine dollars for the custom design ones they also have some free options that you can scroll through and like I said I'll leave the link um, at the bottom of the page for that um, they have some very nice looking ones there's some other places that do custom ones but a lot of them look really cheesy. So I, I, these guys um, are one of the better ones. They do a good job. So anyway, uh, that is the basics on changing your background. Uh, I think that helping yourself set apart or, or set yourself apart really is good when people are visiting um, your information. It's nice for your own uh, user interface, but when people uh, go to your page you know it it's great to have something that's unique it in a world where there's 300 million users on Twitter um, standing out is kind of difficult to do sometimes and so when you're trying to get people to want to talk to you and engage with you and and follow you uh, it, it's much easier when you think that most people don't change their backgrounds and so they're just another Bob Smith user who's into social media or whatever but there's thousands and tens of thousands of people like that whereas there's some profiles when I go to their page I know it's their page and and the possibilities are limitless if you want to create a professional background and brand it with your logo and your image you can do that if you want to really express yourself you can do that 
and set yourself apart. And you can also, uh, in the left bar, when they make the custom ones, you can put link the not active links, but you can put like your website if you want to direct people back there, or, or some of the other profiles and things uh, about you. So anyway, hopefully this was helpful, and we'll continue to post more series. Make sure and subscribe below, and uh, leave any questions or uh, comments down in the comments below, and look forward to more series. We've gone through quite a few of the basics at this point. There's still a few more basics we're going to go into. We'll talk probably about privacy, um, some of the other settings that you have. Uh, the next one will probably be about auto posting um, both out of Twitter and into Twitter and, and how that's done and why someone would want to do that or not do that. And so uh, look for other videos in the uh, response, uh, video responses downstairs, all right, downstairs, <laughs> down ben beneath the video. All right, till next time, uh, check out, check us out at uh, socialmagnets.net.